In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a multinomial reg logistics regression in SPSS. Here I have two independent variables, temperature and flyers, and I also have a single dependent variable, sales category, which has three different categories of below average sales, average sales, and higher than average sales, of which I want to be able to predict which of these different categories sales in a particular day is going to fall on based on these two independent variables. To do this, I need to run a multinomial logistics regression. So I click on analyze regression and then I click on multinomial logistics. In multinomial logistics, I'm going to move my dependent variable in this case, which is sales categories, into the dependent variable field. And also, I'm going to move temperature into covariate because they are both interval ratio data. I'm going to move them into the covariate field. If I had nominal based data i'm going to move them as the factors but i don't have any nominal data then again i click on options and options just in case i want to change the level of significance but i just want it to stay that way so i go to continue and then again i click on statistics and the statistics i want to see cell probabilities classification table and also the goodness of fit. and once i'm done checking all of this i'm going to click on continue and once this is done, I click on OK. SPSS is going to run the analysis and give you the results in the output view. Now, it's going to provide lots and lots of table, but I'm just going to show you just a few that you need for the purpose of your interpretation. Here, we look at the goodness of fit. Now, this tells us whether the two predictors have a, a best fit for predicting the dependent variable. So if this is less than 0.05, we say that it's not a best fit. But if it is more than that, which here we have 1.0, which tells us that this model is a very it's a very good fit, is the best fit for this particular prediction. And then also we also look at this, the pseudo arrow square table. This tells this works more like your arrow squared. It tells us what percentage of the observed variance in the dependent variable that is accounted for by the predictor variables? Here we see that we have the Naga Keke value as 0.956. This tells us that 95.6% of the observed va variation in the dependent variable it is accounted for by the predictor variable. But then also, I would want to also focus on the likelihood ratio test, which helps us to see each of the independent variable if there are significant predictors of the dependent variable here we see that temperature has a significance level 0.00 which is less than 0.05 which means that it is a significant predictor and also flyers has a significance of a p-value of 0.27 this tells us that it is a significant predictor it tells us that it's a significant predictor and then also we might want to also look at the parameter estimates so looking at the parameter estimates, we see here that the temperature is 0, 0 0.00, which is less than 0 0.05. So it is a significant predictor. So this is how to run a multinomial regression, logistics regression in SPSS.